What is going on YouTube True Blue Card Collector? I have some football, some awesome new football. We've seen a few of this stuff, a few boxes of this break on YouTube and we wanted to rip into this and see what it was all about. Unlicensed, um, but the cards look fantastic and I really hope that this company gets some push down the road to get in on the action with some licensing, whether that's through Fanatics or whatever happens with Panini and, and football licensing and whatnot, because I think this style of card could just be amazing. So this is the wild card mat. Um, this is a retail product. We got the white mega box and the black mega box. We're only going to want to open the black one on today's video. We'll open the white one on another one. I wanted to show you kind of what we got here, guys. So here's kind of what uh, the this one here has the red chase packs. Those are basically like uh, one in every 10 packs is kind of the odds of that. But there have been some runs where they screwed up a little bit and the boxes got entirely the chase packs. Um, there's some really nice looking cards out of this, some really nice looking autos. The white one here has the blue chase packs. But again, we'll open the white one on a separate video. We're going to go ahead and rip into this uh, 2021 draft pick wild card mat let's see what we can get here guys hopefully something really awesome kind of split it up there we did not get lucky enough to get one of the runs that had all chase packs but to kind of show you what's in here so there's our chase pack and we have one two three four five seven packs of cards and the extra chase pack so eight packs of cards six cards per box there are five mega box exclusives in this product. So we'll get to the chase pack last. We're going to start right here and see what we can get. We don't have anything pulled up on this, so we're going to kind of go through the cards together and, and learn about them and, and see what you guys think of the product and the style. I, I absolutely love the look of this card. So here we go. Check this out. Check this card out, guys. That is just a sick looking card. 12 of 99. It's just so clean. I can see these being a tougher card to grade because of the black edging. Um, and, and just because of that, you're bound to have some more white showing up on that. Uh, this one's a little off center. You can kind of tell there at the bottom uh, where the, the little partial rhombus or whatever that is there kind of comes together. But those are really nice looking cards. I love the matte finish on them. The little, the little flames coming off the back of the player there. It's it's so clean. Really nice. And I hope this, I really do hope this company gets a good push and can continue to make some cards here. So this is more of a glossy finish here. Javon Holland. And then Devonta Smith. So these are like the base cards here. Davis Mills. Robert Rochelle and Mac Jones. Very nice. We get Mac Jones. Throw him in a sleeve right quick. I could see this being a really nice looking card in like an HGA style with like a color match label or something. I'm not a big fan of HGA. Um, it'd be nice if like SGC offered some different colored mats for their backgrounds. That'd be really sweet. This is kind of like an alternate option here. We're going to move this one to the back. We'll go through the base here real quick. Another Davis Mills. Sam Ellinger. Elijah Moore. Trevon Morig. Trey Lance. So two packs, two rookie quarterbacks. And our hit card for this box, 23 out of 40, Kadarius Toney. That's pretty sweet. He's got like a shield behind him there. Let's see if we can see what this says here. Can't really read what that says. Weekend Warrior. Look like that's what that says up here underneath the WW. Very nice. Very sweet looking cards. If you can't see what we get in the chase pack. That's going to be... That's going to be pretty sweet. Got to use the right side of the knife there. The packs are, the, the wrapping on these are very thick. 
All right, another Davis Mills. Loaded up with Davis Mills. Jason Owen. Justin Fields. Elijah Moore. Trevon Morig. And we got uh, Eric Stokes. 58 of, 90, or of 199 down here in the bottom corner here. Pretty sweet. That's the Explode. Sleeve on this fields real quick. So I, I did notice that the glossy finish, uh, it might be able to come off, but it looks like there is some surface stuff going on there. Kind of hard to see. Get the right light. You know, there's some like some streaks on that, but I wonder if that's just kind of the card sitting together. I wonder if uh, you take a nice um, microfiber to it, if that'll come right off there or not. We'll give that a shot later on, but. Uh, Let's see what we get here. Robert Porsche again. Seems like get a decent amount of doubles, which is a little unfortunate, but you know, they're trying to keep everybody interested in the product with the top rookies. Another Davis Mills here. And then we got a rookie heat, Greg Newsom. That's the 107 out of 199 rookie heat. Looks like we're going to have a PC card coming up here. Aziz Aljolari. Ernest Jones. Another Trey Lance. Shay Smith. Aaron Robinson. And nice weekend warrior. Quitty Pay. 30 out of 40. Very nice. Nice PC card for us. Big Wolverines fan. Happy to see that they're doing well this year. But... I don't set my expectations too high until they play some of the big schools. All right. We got uh, Jay Tufel. I, I do wish that the um, the hit card was at the back of the pack, or at least in the middle. Pat Fearmuth. Another Mac Jones. And we got a, another Davis Mills. This one's a short print, though. 30 out of 50. There's a five down here. Not really sure. That's a, that's a, oh, we got two cards there. A little stuck together there. All right, let's see here. So that was a chess rot. But uh, yeah, Davis, Davis Mills there. Nice looking card. It's kind of neat that the, the player itself is kind of like a, a gloss finish there, but then they still have the matte background and the gloss foils. Really cool. All right, one more pack, and then we'll get to our, um, our chase pack. Let's see what we get out of that. All right, Amari Rogers, Felipe Franks, Jalen Phillips, and Brevin Jordan, Terrace Marshall Jr., and Kyle Pitts, 41 out of 99 rookie heat. Very nice. Yeah, so, I mean, I like the product. I think it's got great-looking cards. Um, again, I think they can easily improve on the design a little bit um, just by kind of not having so many duplicates in the same box. Let's see what we get here out of our chase pack. One of six. Javante Williams, one of six. Very nice. Eric Stokes, Rashad Bateman, Jeremiah Awasa Kormora, and Zach Wilson wrapping it up. So the only quarterback we didn't get out of that box of the top ones was Trevor Lawrence. I don't know, guys. I kind of want to rip into that white one right now just to see if we can nail us the Trevor Lawrence. What do you say? Make it a little bit longer? We'll just rip into it right now? I think so. Let's just do it. It's here. Why not? Guys, this isn't too bad of a product price-wise either. For what you're getting on this, I know it's not licensed, but for a really cool-looking card, um, I got these on eBay for $44 a piece. I bought them as a set, so I got a little bit of a discount. 
Um, but you can find them right around $45, $50 on eBay. Um, you can find them at your local LCSs. Some of those guys will have these too. Um, not too bad of a product. All right, let's see here. This does not look like we got a chase pack in this one. So we got two, four, six. We got eight regular packs. So we did not get a chase pack in the white box. So all the guys that were getting multiple chase packs in their boxes, we got the short end of the stick on this one. So unless we get super lucky, I don't think we're going to get a really short print card. But let's see what we can get here. Let's see. So the first card should be our hit card. But let's see how this one pans out for us. Unless, nope, they actually put the first, the back card on these white ones here. We got Kay Johnson. Again, really nice looking card. These white ones are really going to be good for grading as far as the edging goes. It's going to be a lot tougher to kind of pick that stuff out. Pat Fearmuth. Tufel, Chesseret, Terrace Marshall Jr., and Davis Mills, 13 out of 50 in the white. It's a lot of Davis Mills. All right, we got Patrick Sertan, Devontae Smith, Jevin Holland, Robert Porchelle. Felipe Franks, and our hit card for this pack is Ernest Jones, 123 out of 199 in the Explode. Oh, everybody saw that one already. All right, Elijah Moore, Rondale Moore, Devontae Smith, Penae Sewell, that's a Detroit Lion, that's going to be a PC for us there. Jason Oa, Oa, and Kyle Trask. That is very slick. That is 136 out of 149, right underneath the player there. That is sweet looking card right there. That is very cool. Again, a little bit thicker stock, so it's a little, they're not super thick, you know, it's it's probably not a 55, but it's probably just a little, it's probably going to be snug in a, in a regular top loader. All right, we got uh, Terrace Marshall Jr., Felipe Franks again, another Porsche, Jevin Hollins, Devonta Smith, and Mika Parsons, 96 out of 199 in the Explode. My thoughts on this product so far, would I buy this again? Yeah, I, I, of the unlicensed stuff, I think I'd buy this again. Comparative to some of the other stuff that's you know significantly more expensive, you get some nice looking cards, you could build some sets out of it. Terrace Marshall Jr., Felipe Franks. Uh, unfortunately, we're getting a lot of the same guys here. But for the hit cards, they're not too bad. Ian Book. That one's 21 out of 60, Ian Book. I just really like the look of this. All right. Ernest Jones, Aaron Robinson, Cal Pitts, Trey Lance in the white. Very nice. Larry Borum, and Najee Harris, 20 out of 50. That's the rookie heat. All right, Pat Fearmuth, Jay Tufel, Chase Surrett, Terrace Marshall Jr., Felipe Franks, that seems to be like the sequencing there. And Terrace Marshall Jr. in the Explode, that's 117 out of 149. So you can see they got the different levels of the Explodes as well. So this is more like a, looks like a green. And this is more of like a, like a pink. 
ish. That's out of 199, and this is out of 149. All right, one more pack here, guys. If you haven't yet done it, hit that like button. We really do appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel. Keep in touch with us in the comments section below. Let us know what you think about this product. Would you open this? Would you buy boxes of it? Have you opened it yet? Two Trey Lances out of this box. Sam Ellinger. Justin Fields in the white. Very nice. And finishing off with another Mika Parsons Explode. 197 out of 199. So the white was a little disappointing in the breakdown of the cards. You know, we got two of the Mika Parsons, 96 out of 199 and 197 out of 199. So we're only 197 more cards away from having that entire set. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I like the product. I like the way it looks. I think I like the, the, uh, the matte black ones more than I like the white ones. I just think they look sharper, but I think... With the current uh, grading situation, I think the white ones would look fantastic in an SGC slab. But if SGC ever offered an alternate color on the outside, you know, maybe a white on the outside just to contrast each other, I think that would look fantastic in one of those as well. So not too bad of a rip there, guys. Thank you guys for checking out our video. And uh, don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks.